Hello everyone. Today, I would like to introduce how we can download Omron Sysmax Studio, the latest version from Omron website. So if we type in automation.omron.com, and it will pop up this web page. And from here, if we go to the products, we go to automation system. And from here, we can see that human machine interface, that is the HMI portion, and machine automation controllers. So we can also see this. This is a programmable logic controller. In industry, usually PLC is a main controller in the system, especially for automotive and factory automation-wise. So the PLC always run a main controller so far. So in Omron catalogs, uh, machine automation controllers, basically that means their uh, middle level and the higher level control system. And for the middle level and the lower end system, that is a programmable logic controllers, that is a PLC, they call it as its name. So let's have a quickly review. Programmable logic controllers. So we can see that CP2E, CJ, or CP1H, so that's basically the all middle and the lower end uh, controllers. CP1E or CP1L. The software to program those controllers, that is a CX1 software. And if we go back, if we go to machine automation controllers, they are basically middle and the higher end uh, controllers for Omron wise because you know Omron is very good at uh, uh, machine control levels one typical machine control system there will be a main PLC controller here and this controller usually need to communicate with uh, remote IOs and need to communicate with robots uh, also some most of the machine level system need a safety system for example the safety system you need a, a safety doors, safety light curtains, or safety scanners, and the controllers need to communicate with wall banks. Uh, usually, this controller also need to communicate with HMI. And some system also need to communicate with a cloud system. They need the PLC main controllers need to have a, a OPC UA communication function or a open TCP IP communication function. So we know that, so in the current machine level system, that main controller is no longer a, a just a programmable controllers. Uh, and these controllers need to build in a multi-functions, need to build in the communication function, need to build in the servo control access functions, uh, need to build in the remote communication functions, and uh, need to build in the safety functions. They are all it's kind of like an all-in-one system. So uh, in Omron wise, uh, the machine automation controllers, this basically for machine control level, they are all middle level and high-end controllers here. So NX series controllers, they are basically middle level. And for a little bit higher end, they are NJ and NX701 controllers. And all those, uh, controllers, software to program these controllers, that is a Sysmac Studio software. And today I'm going to introduce how we can download this. And because this software not only can program those uh, machine level controllers, but also it can configure and uh, program the HMI system. And this Omron NA series HMI is built into this uh, Sysmac Studio. So if you use this uh, Sysmac Studio software, it can uh, configure and program the NA series HMI and also can program NJNS controllers and the NX series uh, safety system. So one typical machine level control system, this Sysmac Studio software can cover all of them.
So in my working area, the Sysmax Studio can cover the one typical machine level cell. You know, in a factory plant, uh, for example, the automotive industries, uh, the in one whole plant, there are a lot of uh, single cells uh, working in this uh, plant. That means there will be a lot of uh, kinds like this controllers uh, running as a main controllers in one cell, and multiple cells will work in this whole plant. And another reason I'm going to introduce this Systematic Studio, that's because this software will provide 30 trial days. So if you are um, a starter, a PLC learner, uh, just a beginner, will work in this industry area. So this Systematic Studio, that will be a very good tool for you. Because firstly, this software has a 30 days, a trial days. So uh, almost one month uh, is a good period for you to learn it. Another reason for the typical programming, uh, kinds of like a letter logic, uh, ICL programming language, and communication, uh, for example, Ethernet IP, uh, Ethercat communication, they all built in in this software, as well as a HMI system. And also, Sysmac Studio uh, already built in a simulation system. As a beginner, you do not need to purchase uh, one actual controller. Uh, you can use this software and uh, simulation software to learn it. From this page, that is the introduction of uh, Sysmax Studio software. Uh, the typical style in this software uh, is like this way. If you have uh, some background on Siemens or Alan Brownlee, or back off, you will be very easy to engage this software because the typical language style, they all similar. For my experience, so in this software, the TAC database is a similar like a Rockwell Island Bradley Studio 5000, and its programming style uh, is very much like uh, Island Bradley and the Siemens. And especially this software also support a function block and this is uh, the software, hardware style, and uh, wearables, and the wearable style. And this is a typical letter logic style. And for debugging, this is a very useful function because in this software, uh, it has a data trace function. And this data trace can be saved in your project. So the main brand like uh, Siemens, TI Portal, Alan Bradley Studio 5000, they all already built in the data trace. And those data trace function is very, very handy tool when you work on site, do a commissioning, uh, do commissioning test. So to download this software, you can click the download Sysmac Studio. And it will ask you to type in the business uh, email address. So once you type in your email address and click the receive the download email, you will receive the email. That email has a two link. One is a official link that after the download the software, that need you to type in the activation code. Another link that is a trial link. It allows you to use it as a trial version for 30 days. So after you download the installation files and install this uh, Sysmax Studio, uh, after installation, so that Sysmax Studio icon will be like this. So the latest version, that is a version 1.30. So for example, if I open it, it will show as this page. The latest version, that is a version 1.30. I used uh, the Sysmax Studio from version 1.18. So from basically from version 18 to version 30, as I saw, there is no main change from version 18 to version 
but a lot of new released controllers, for example, NX102 was just released a recent one year. And NX1P, the this small controller is a very typical controller, and this port that is an Ethernet IP function, and this port that is an EtherCAT, and this EtherCAT can communicate with the, the OMRO 1S server controllers. And the basic idea of this Sysmac Studio, um, every time when you upgrade the Sysmac Studio, for example, if the newer version uh, released, for example, 1.31, so after you install the 1.31, the newer version, the older version will be covered. So the always the latest version existing in your system. The older version will be covered. This is not the same as a Siemens TI Portal or Alan Brownlee Studio 5000. Um, for example, Siemens TI Portal, it has a version 14, 15, 16. So every instant the software, all those versions can stay in the system. And Alan Brownlee Studio 5000, for example, version 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, every specific versions will stay in the system. But for Sysmac Studio, always the highest version in your system. And in this software, every time you create a new project. Every time you create a new project, and this project will stay in this software. Uh, if you want to copy or backup your project, um, you need to export this project file into your memory stick or export into your other E drive or E drive. For example, this project, this file is built into this software. It's hard to find where is this uh, project located. So if you want to backup this uh, project, you need to export this project to other place. After you export this project, that will be a .smc2 file. That, that's just a one single file. And if your project includes HMI, PLC, or server driver, they all built into a one file. So uh, if you have a one file, for example, if we export here, if we export this file to new project A, let's say, so this file, will be your project. And once you double click this file, this project will automatically build in to this Sysmac Studio platform. For example, if I double click this project, open it, So from this project list, we will see that this is my old project. This is a, I just uh, export and just uh, import. So when you double click your project, this is your project file, and it will automatically build in to this platform. So the good things is that uh, every time you do not need to pay a lot of effort to find where is your project. The, all the project this platform opened, they all show up here. So the highest record of what I have is I have a 200 projects have a different versions in this list. And, but the drawbacks is, um, so you need to take care, you need to export your file, export out. So in case your system crash, or by some reason, this software cannot open anymore, so it's really hard to export or backup your project. To use this software, for me, every time or every day, basically finish the job, I need to export this project, save this your project into your memory stick or into your hard drive. And second day, you can double click or just keep going programming that.
and every day to back up your project, just uh, export the project and then save as another name. So that's for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.